So in this video, we're going to be learning how to use the Directus API. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to install the PHP SDK. So we're going to install Composer if we don't already have it. So as per the instructions on the GitHub page, we're going to copy this. Create a file called composer.json and we're going to paste that in and save it. And now we're going to say Composer install. So now that we've installed that, we're ready to go. And what I'm going to do is create a file called index.php and I'm going to paste this in. This is the code from Directus's instructions on installing their SDK. So we're going to scroll up and we want to change the base URL to the URL that our server is running on. So we're going to say directus.howcode and we're going to access the table users and we're going to print out usernames. and put the PHP tag in at the top. So you can see we got an error. The reason we got that error is because if we look at the code, you can see we haven't created a user token. This token is going to come up as invalid. So to generate a user token, I have a program called PAW. And what we're going to do is we're going to send a post request to our server. We're going to go to the API version 1.1. We're going to go to the auth folder and we're going to request a token. So we have to pass in, in the body of the request, our email, which is francis.ico.org and our password which is password. So now if I run that, you can see we got a token returned. So if I save that token and I paste it in here, and we want to change the version of the API from version one to version 1.1. So now if we try to run this, you can see we get two users printed out and you can see we get the HTML printed out as well. If I just run this, you can see now we get our two users printed out. And if we go back into the code, all we needed was four lines of code to get the users out of our database and we could actually compress that into two lines of code if we wanted to versus if we had to do that with PHP and MySQL by itself we'd have to worry about the security because we'd have to worry about SQL injection but we'd also have a lot more work to do just to retrieve a list of users from our database so we can access the API using the PHP SDK or we can use HTTP directly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new user so I'm going to go to API forward slash 1.1 forward slash users forward slash rows and I'm going to pass a username field and our username is going to be Francis McNamee and we have one more field which is verified and that's going to be true and the data type is going to be a boolean which is a tick and if we send this now we're going to get an error and it's slash tables slash user slash rows so if we run this we will get an error it says permission denied but to be able to get this to work we have to go to our headers and we have to add a header called authorization and then we write the word bearer and we want to paste in beside that our authorization token so if i run this now you can see we created a new user and if I go to direct us, click on users, there is the brand new user we just created. So inside our admin area, if I click on user directory, you can see the two users who can log into direct us. If I edit one of those users, I can scroll down to the bottom and I can generate an API token. So if I generate this token and copy it, and I go back to PAW. So you can see we got 403 forbidden because in group permissions in Directus, in the basic group, all the users in that group can do are view photos and view users. And what we tried to do was create a new user. So if I want to enable that, I click on add and now we can add new users to the users table. So if I go back to PAW and I run this one more time, now you can see that went through and we created the new user. And you can see how easy it was to modify the permissions and all the fine grained control we have within Directus. So why would you want to use the API versus the SDK? It's completely up to you. Maybe you don't want to use PHP for whatever reason. Maybe you prefer to use Python. In that case, you could call the API directly using the HTTP endpoints. But you can see how much easier this is with Directus. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.